Folks, how's it going today? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me clear my throat here. All right, so today's what? 13 uh, February 2020. I got 9.51 uh, Mountain Standard Time. I just have to be in uh, Utah just visiting the kids for the weekend. I hope you guys um, have a good weekend as well. Um, President's Day weekend. And, well, also Valentine's Day. That's if you guys celebrate such a thing. I don't celebrate that stuff anymore. Uh, as you should love your significant other and your family every day, okay? And uh, I may make a video about what Valentine's Day really is about. And if you knew what it really was about, you wouldn't be celebrating anymore. But that's not the, the point that I'm trying to get at. Uh, the point that I'm trying to get at today is about uh, Russell Wilson. Now, I just happened to see this article. And again, I'm doing this kind of like on, you know, on um, I'm shooting from the hip, so to speak. And um, I just kept seeing articles over the last two or three days about Mr. Wilson wanting to uh, request a trade. And I guess he doesn't like the way he's being used in Seattle. And... Um, also, I saw a art, uh, article on Willie D Live, okay? And I'm probably going to see more than one, but shout out to, or I'll give my credits to uh, Willie D. Uh, and uh, about hit Russell being, and his wife being interviewed, and I guess he had this look of uncertainty on his face about him fearing the most that he may lose his wife. And it's kind of like these are one of the things where I've been through it. I know what to say. And uh, so we'll talk a little bit about that, uh, of what I just mentioned, and then maybe a little bit about relationships and also, uh, in the end of the day, what can we get out of this? Now, this ain't no uh, nothing to talk against uh, Mr. Wilson and all that stuff. Uh, I think he's been in the league like, what, he's going on his 10th year, come out of uh, – Actually, he's from my home city of Richmond, Virginia. And just so you know, a little bit of fun fact, his grandfather was the president of Norfolk State University, okay? I think his father was a professional baseball player. But when I went to Norfolk State back, what, some 30 years ago, then um, Mr. Harrison Wilson was president there. That's his, again, that's his, his grandfather. But, um, so yeah, I'm thinking in my mind what happened is he wants to get traded all right and they may give him what he wants uh it's kind of uncertain if they're going to trade him now during the offseason or maybe in the middle of the year next year because well the rule of thumb is if you want it that that means you don't get it okay that's a rule that we had uh in the arm uh, i guess in the in the in the military as well when i was in the army okay so if you, you you don't get what you want, and when you don't ask for it, then that's when you get it. You get it all the time, okay? I was that person that didn't want it, and trust me, I would get it all the time, get places. I get sent everywhere, like every other year. I end up on end up on everything. But anyway, with uh, I'm thinking in my mind that maybe he's trying to say that if he gets traded, does that mean that uh, his wife, Sierra, uh, will leave him. And just so you know, if you guys don't already know, Ciara was a, uh, well, and still is. She's still very marketable, um, successful uh, R&B singer in the, back in the 2000s and 2010s. Uh, she had a nice little run with those, I think them guys up in North Carolina, I think P.D. Pablo and Timbaland and all those guys or whatever that I used to enjoy back in the day. And, you know, I think that... Um, Sierra has a very, very lovely voice. She's a lovely lady. Uh, in fact, I wanted to see Sierra actually at when she wanted to uh, perform at Dre's here uh, in Las Vegas some years back. But anyway, <clears throat> I think that's what he is um, weary of. And I just would like to say about Russell Wilson um, is... And also maybe for you other guy, uh, guys are in dilemmas like 
uh, Russell, okay? Where you don't know what direction that you want to go or you're, you're just on the certain times and, you know, the family's in the mix, children and all that. Gentlemen, if you put the most high first, <clears throat> okay? And you have nothing to worry about, okay? If she loves you, you put the most high uh, first before you, okay? And you just worry about what you have to do. Like I say, though, she's going to go wherever you're going to go. Now, if you're one of those situations, let's say guys like you, if you're in the military, you have to go over the war or something like that. That's different. But yeah, man, she <clears throat> she's going to, you know, be patient and be like, do what you got to do. And then it'll be ready when you get back and, you know, things will resume back to normal. Okay. So if she's a, a Proverbs 31 woman, and ladies, if you listen to, it, into that, to this, you look at Proverbs 31, and it talks about all the principles of a good woman. And it does say that, hey, you know, guys, that he finds a, finds is a good woman, finds is a good thing, all right? So, you know, in your relationships, you always want to look at keeping the most high first or intertwined into that and all that so you don't have any problems or whatever, okay? And I can tell you this. From experience, you know, I loved, I've lost, okay, that, you know, let's just say me, when I was in the army, I remember I married a lady uh, when I was stationed in Texas at the time, and I had to go to Egypt for a year, and we had our ups and downs or whatever while I was gone, and then when I got back, it was time for me to go to Georgia, and I guess, you know, um, I was on the fence of whether I wanted to leave or not, but I had to do what I had to do in the end of the day. And it was her job to support me. And she didn't do that. Okay. <clears throat> and it's what it is. But I had to continue to do what I had to do. And keep, you know, the most high uppermost in my mind and all that. And just for me, things out turned out to be better without her or whatever. Okay. Um, and, you know, she's contacted me and said, I'm, you know, so years later said, I'm sorry and this and that. I didn't know what I was thinking. But, you know, and I was hot about it, but I just didn't understand things, you know, back then the way that I did now. That was some 20 years ago. That was right at the time when we broke up, right before 911. So that tells you that's some 20 years ago. So you can see, you re uh, guess you can factor how old I am. I'll be 50 here in May. <clears throat> so I think that I don't know everything, but I think I know enough where I can tell a story. Okay, something. And this, this, this is what this is all about. Uh, I like to, you know, leave uh, things here, okay, maybe from somewhat of a, a scriptural, uh, scriptural angle, and hopefully we all can learn something, you know, from this, including myself. Although I'm still learning, I make mistakes or whatever. Uh, I made mistakes yesterday, you know, uh, but I try not to make those mistakes that I did 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago, okay? That's just pure stup uh, stupidity. And um, I have to account for those mistakes probably in a greater magnitude now that I'm older if I were to make the, those type of mistakes when I was 20. So be careful. But again, nothing to bash uh, Russell Wilson. I admire his craft. He's a great football player. Um, he works very, very hard on the offseason to keep himself in physical condition and shape. Okay, and uh, whether he stays in Seattle, he goes somewhere else. He'll be uh, very marketable. But I believe that at 30, uh, he's right around 30 now. He, he probably feels that he shouldn't be doing all the stuff that he's doing to try to evade a lot of these defensive players and stuff like that. And the Legion of Boom, that's that defense that they had some seven, eight years ago. Those guys are, are gone and retired. And really, he's only got one, maybe two targets or whatever on their team, man. You know, just I'm just thinking if he stays in Seattle, they're probably not going to win again. So, you know, I wouldn't blame him from leaving. But <clears throat> back to what I was saying about um, about his relationship, I think that's what he's worried about. Um, but they do spend a lot of time uh, together. I think when they was first dating, from what I understand, they will be gone like every 10 days or something like that between his football career. And she's probably, you know, doing gigs, you know, singing and stuff like that, keeping herself uh, busy and raising children and all that stuff and you know why he's doing whatever he has to do and I think that they're able to work out some deal to where 
they're gone like every, you know, they get to be together like every five days. Now, football season's not over, so they'll probably get to be together every day. There may be times where he may have to leave and go to practice or go work out, or maybe, I don't know, he had to go do some book signings, but, you know, but uh, he'll fit in a lot of different places. He could probably fit in in San Francisco, let's see, Indianapolis, Las Vegas, uh, maybe Atlanta, okay? Uh, because I do know uh, Sierra's from, I think her, she's from Atlanta or from North Carolina, or one of those uh, places or whatever, or, or Carolina, okay? So if they would, you know, if he were to go back east where he would be closer to his family, because again, he's from Virginia and, you know, they could be closer to their family. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> it's really about two people working together, trying to build something together, being on the same, you know, sheet of music. Both people cannot be on top. You know, somebody has to be supportive of the other, okay? And it is a woman's job to support uh, a man as, as a Proverbs 38 woman. But then again, men, you have to kind of earn your rank to the point where, you know, she can trust you enough to, you know, be able to support you and all that. But why would you want to be with somebody anyway, all right, but be a man or woman, if you don't trust her, you hadn't earned that person's uh, that respect, especially the woman's respect, okay? <clears throat> but, you know, he's earned his rank. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing to worry, uh, for the most part, with relationships. Gentlemen, you know, if you're out here taking care of your business, you'll have nothing to worry about, all right? You are dealing with the, the modern woman, but modern or not, Dude, she gonna be there for you. And she's not, then you know what? That's toxic. You don't, you can do bad by yourself. All right. Um, that's what this relationship is. Hey, they're just working together just to stay together. So um, I just, you know, I pray that I don't want to uh, wish no, uh, be no bearer of bad news of their relationship. They do represent, you know, true love. They've been together for, I think about six or seven years or whatever. And that's a long time in this day and age to be married uh, to somebody. <laughs> I'm serious though. So if you, 20 years is a long time. Uh, five years is a long time. So, um, but I don't want to keep saying the same thing over and over again. Uh, I just think that he's at a crossroads in his life and he's, he's weary. He's a little bit weary. And these are one of the things I was like, yeah, man, you know, I know exactly what, what the deal is here and they'll be, they'll be fine. All right. So I'm going to go on about my day. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, leave your comments, shares, and uh, check out some of my other videos. And thanks for listening.